In this video, I want to touch on a couple of tips to help you with getting organized. The more organized you are now, the more time you're going to save in looking for those misplaced files. That can quickly add up and save time, and time is money. If you already have a system in place, then these tips may give you an idea or two, or at worst, let you know that your current system is the best one for you, and hey, there's no need to fix what ain't broke, right? As you grow your business, you may have to make certain adjustments in your organizational habits, but at least ways you'll have something to adjust. The idea here is to just do it. Begin getting organized now, and as needed, make your changes. For example, I have a certain folder structure to keep all of my website and domain details organized. Let's go ahead and take a look at what I've got set up here. One of the folders on my hard drive is called My Sites. And inside of that folder, I've got a list of every single domain that I have in their own individual folders. For example, domain X would be site-x. Domain Y would be site-y, and so on. And inside of each one of these folders, at a bare minimum, I have two more folders, and then a text document that contains all the login and additional details about that domain. Now, since most all of my websites are database-driven WordPress sites, my structure might be a little bit different than what you might need. But at least ways, this will give you an idea to work with. But I've got two folders here, one named Images and one named Backup. That should be no different than your setup. You should always have a backup, whether your websites or WordPress sites or Joomla sites or just static HTML sites, you should always have at least a most recent backup and at least one prior backup. You may find the need to have more than just one prior backup, but at the bare minimum, have two backups in there, the most recent and the one prior. And in my backup folder here, I've got two more folders, one called database, one called files. And since my sites are a majority of WordPress sites, I have the need for a database folder you may not so again that's totally up to you but you should at the very least have one that says backup and i've got a folder here for images any and all images aren't going to be scattered about in this folder for this domain name they're all going to be stuck in here and after a while i may have those images organized inside of this folder to the point where i might have all of my photoshop or psd images in its own folder inside of here i might have all of my sales page images in its own folder inside of here and so on now this guy right here this is kind of the heart of my organized files open this guy up and remember most all of my websites are wordpress sites and of the web hosting companies that i use now a majority of them have cpanel as the control panel and that's why I've got this guy right here. If your control panel is something other than cPanel, then just replace this with yours. Maybe it's Plesk or something else. But for the most part, your control panel login details and your FTP login details will be the same. With the minor exception that sometimes the prefix to your FTP might be FTP dot your domain name. Or for a secure login, it might be SFTP dot your domain name. But you're always going to have a username and a password. And I've got a section up here that contains notes for my domain. Again, since most of my sites are WordPress sites, these notes here are referencing a configuration file for my WordPress site. Just a little add-on that I want to put in there. And I've got the username and the password for my administrator login details for my blogs. And the database information for my blogs. And my email addresses for that particular domain as well as a Gmail account that I've got set up for that domain. Now I've got this set up in addition to my email accounts for that domain because by having a Gmail account, this gives me access to Google tools for this specific domain. And since Gmail is free, why not? Along with that, I've got a separate YouTube account for just that domain and anything else that I might need for, that, for just that domain, I have those in here as well. Again, use this as a guide to go by. You may have a lot more in your file. You may have a lot less. But again, it's something to begin with. It's something to start off with. Now, you're also going to need a way to keep your online purchases organized. First off, for me, I write down, yes, actual pen and paper, all of my online purchases. So every evening before I head to bed, I can review those must-have purchases that have never been used yet and see if I can or need to work them into my upcoming schedule. Also, I use RoboForm to keep track of all of my passwords for the products that are purchased, for the products that are protected within a membership site, 
and I have a folder structure on my computer for all my purchases. Let's take a look at that. Let's go ahead and back up here. And like the folder that I have on my hard drive that says My Sites that have all these guys in there, I've got another one named Online Purchases. And you can name yours whatever you want. Again, this is just to be used as a guide to go by. And inside of here, I've got several different folders. In this case, these are niches or topics. I might have a purchase on the Warrior Forum, one of the WSOs or Warrior Special Offers. And I might have a separate folder here just titled WSOs where I might have all of those located. And inside of there, I might have the name of the purchase preceded by the date so that I can organize it by date purchased or the name of the person that created the product. Again, totally up to you, however you're most comfortable in keeping your stuff organized. For me, since I'm a product creator, I tend to have things more niche related. So if I purchase something off of the Warrior Forum or from JVZoo or just off the website in general, and it's niche related to AdWords or CPA or Kindle or LinkedIn, then I will put that purchase information in here. I will create a new folder just for that purchase information and I will stick it in here and I'll date it and put whatever other information I need that will allow me to quickly locate it. Because in Windows Explorer, I've got this little search option up here so that any keyword related to that particular purchase, I can then use later on in the search function up here in Windows Explorer that will allow me to more quickly locate that particular product or that particular purchase. I should also mention that no matter how organized your files are, if they're not backed up somewhere, then you're taking the chance of losing everything. Now at the very least, you should save your can't live without files somewhere outside of your computer, like on a thumb drive or an external hard drive. And these hard drives or thumb drives are so cheap nowadays, you're really doing yourself a disservice by not doing this, by not spending a little bit of extra money now so that you're not going to have to spend a whole lot of money and, and heartache later on if something bad happens to your files. Now if you can afford it, you can get a couple of hard drives for inside your computer similar to my setup. As you can see over here on the left panel, I've got the C drive. That's the default drive that came with the computer. And I purchased two additional hard drives, one that contains most all of my work and one that is specifically set up for backups. And I try to keep just the program installations on my C drive. That allows it to load faster. And all of my work and purchase downloads go into my H drive, uh, with the exception of those guys that are downloaded to my documents or the download folders here. At which point, if need be, I will then either delete them from this or move them into one of my folders on my H drive so I can keep these guys as clean as possible. A lot of other folks do just the opposite. They'll pack up their C drive with all the same information because they don't have an additional hard drive. Again, it's totally up to you, personal preference. My main point here is to have a backup set up somewhere. Now, in closing, I want to mention that my folder structure examples and the use of Notepad works great for me. You may be fluent in using spreadsheet or mind mapping type programs, in which case you could put all the details of your domain and website files on a spreadsheet or on a mind map and they would work 10 times better for you than in my examples. However you do it, just do it. Well, this should give you a good starting point for your own organizing structure. Remember, this is not meant to be a perfect solution, but something that can be adjusted as your business and ideas grow and change. Thank you very much for watching, and you have a great day.